see what she is made of. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a Tesla Model 3 performance. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Tim Daly Nissan here in Murray, Utah, for giving me some time with this Model 3 performance. They do sell the new Nissans, but they also have a ton of awesome pre-owned inventory as well, just like this Model 3 performance. So definitely check them out. Link to their inventory in the description down below. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. Now here is the front of the Model 3. So you guys can see that it's not super deep, but the fact that it has a front is really cool because most cars just have an engine under the hood, right? And so you don't have this extra storage compartment that the Model 3 has. So it's just a cool bit of extra practicality. And uh, yeah, other than that, we're gonna close this up and boop. Now let's go over the front end of the Model 3. So first off, you can see the Tesla logo here, front and center. And then off to the side, we've got our LED lights, kind of a signature of the Model 3. I think they still look pretty good to this day. And then we've got the fog lights down below, parking sensors here on the front end. Whole front end is closed off because, well, it's an electric car, so you don't need a bunch of airflow to feed an engine. And again, it has a really distinctive look. And I definitely think this looks a lot better from a front end perspective compared to the Model Y because the proportions just make sense. They were kind of built out for this car, but there you go. So let's go over some performance stats with the Model 3. It's a dual motor car, 315 miles of driving range with the Model 3. And we've got 450 horsepower and then 471 pound-feet of torque. Now coming to the side here, we've got two 35 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see from a design perspective with the wheels mostly closed off to help out with aerodynamic efficiency and also notice the shape of the wheel, like the blades. That also helps out, which is pretty cool. Red brake caliper to signify that this is the performance model. Now so we have our camera here on the side, body painted mirror, and then you can see the door handles are flush with the bodywork to also help out with aerodynamic efficiency and it's not white for once, and it actually looks really cool in this color. Ooh. So popping into the rear of the Model 3, you can see we've got the uh, floor mats back here, but this is a sedan and it's got normal sedan storage space here in the back. You don't really concede anything uh, because this is electric. And look at that, storage space down there is really good. So yeah, overall, they've done a really good job with just making this super practical from a storage space perspective. And you can even lower this down with the button. That is fancy. Now, facing things up with the rest of the rear, you can see here with the carbon fiber spoiler on the back, and then notice with the lights, super distinctive, and again, I think it looks great with the proportions of the Model 3. Got parking sensors here at the bottom, dual motor, so you can flex to everyone that uh, you have two motors and not just one. And yeah, aside from that, it's a Model 3. I like the hips are wider in the back. That looks pretty good, and there you go. Now here's the door panel in the rear. Notice we've got some padding here at the top, then we got the Alcantara and then more padding down below. You see the stitching that goes across. This is actually how you open up the door. It's that little button. It's an electronic release. And we have these very white seats, which actually contrasts the uh, kind of like bluish metallic gray pretty nicely. But yeah, they look really cool if you ask me. And then popping in, ooh, legroom. Actually fit back here pretty comfortably. Got a little storage pocket here. Got some vents as well. Man, this interior is so bright. It's like almost blinding. And you can see here with the cup holder armrest set up. Yeah, these seats, they look really cool. Look at the you know, bunch of padding there is. But anyways, let's head to the front. Now here is the front door panel. You can see again with the padding at the top, the Alcantara, and then more padding down below with the stitching. All of our window controls, again with the door release. And just a quick look at the mirrors. And then the blindingly bright seats here at the front. He's got some contrast that's stitching a little bit there. And then you can see down below with the power adjustments, if you can see past the uh, seat itself. Pedal layout down below, pretty normal. And then that white's actually on the dash too. It's so bright, the camera just like freaks out. But anyways, let's pop in. So here's the steering wheel with the Model 3. Um, pretty nice from a material standpoint. Around the steering wheel feels nice at least. Got the stitching there in the center. We have our column shifter, and then we have a turn signal windshield wiper stock. And other than that, you have these controls here that control different items depending on what you have selected within the infotainment system. And so yeah, super simplistic design. No gauge cluster though. 
And so yeah, it's kind of uh, interesting. So here's the infotainment system. First off, if we pop it into reverse, we do have a backup camera. Which trajectory lines it turn with the steering wheel? Let's see if I go into drive, if it'll pop on with the camera. Nope. Um, but anyways, camera resolution is fantastic. And I think they did a good job with that. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment screen, so first off, we have like the shortcut buttons here at the bottom and notice for like the climate controls, for example, volume control as well. Notice we have this car button we can press, it's a little Model 3. And then this will pull up a bunch of different things we can customize with the car. So like, for example, with the steering wheel, and then again, a lot of these things use these controls here on the steering wheel. Uh, once you select the icon, um, or we can open up the uh, glove box here from the screen as well. Pretty uh, interesting. And then notice here to change uh, what drive mode you're in, for example, and then you got like the charging. Uh, this one has some of the autopilot stuff, which is pretty cool. But basically there's a bunch of different stuff you can customize. Um, overall, the infotainment system is pretty easy to use. And I think that, you know, response time is great with the infotainment system. It's cool that you can play video games on it, right? You've seen all the videos of people doing that. And so, yeah, I think that uh, it's pretty good. Now, so we have our little storage space right here, and again, more of the padding with the stitching, and then, boom, you got this. It covers up this uh, storage area right here. Cup holders, this is where you put the little card, and then here's the center console. Pretty solid. Notice the stitching and padding there, and then down below. We already went over the glove box. Look at that white trim. It's so blindingly bright. And then, finishing things up here at the very top, we have, like, a lot of glass here. So it's fixed. It's not like it opens or anything, but there is so much glass at the top of this car and then just a uh, regular mirror now if you want the most up-to-date price on this particular model 3 then check out tim daly nissan in murray's website in the description down below also that's a bronco on 37s i might need to review that let's take this out and see how it drives well let's talk about visibility before we set off here's visibility of the hood both of the mirrors and then throughout the rest of the rear. I really like this interior actually. I'm not sure about like, you know, how well it holds up to stains and everything, but it looks so cool. Let's set off. So we are setting off here in the Model 3 Performance. Now I actually have it in the chill mode from an acceleration perspective. And this thing that I actually really like about Tesla's um, and other EVs is that you can really change how it accelerates based on the drive modes. With, you know, regular internal combustion engine cars, right you do have like sport modes and all that kind of stuff but ultimately right if a car has 500 horsepower it has 500 horsepower and you you it feels like it pretty much all the time you can kind of tweak that a little bit whereas this like it feels so different in chill mode versus sport mode and i'll kind of show that to you in a moment um seat comfort's actually really good in the model 3 and also regeneration here so i really don't have to use the braking you guys can see it gave me a warning right there because it's like letting me know hey this person's slowing down like at a pretty quick pace you should probably do something, right? So a pretty cool bit of uh, safety tech. Most modern cars have something uh, like that. And I guess that we are um, all gonna be making uh, weird turns here, so. Okay, so continuing along here, it also has a turn signal camera, which is pretty cool, but it's in a weird area. Like uh, Hyundai, for example, right? There's this in a gauge cluster, so it's like right in front of you, this. You have to look off the side. And that's the thing about the Model 3 is you have to look off the side for everything because like your speedometer, all that stuff is in the screen. It doesn't have a gauge cluster. Kind of um, not exactly the best setup. Suspension's pretty good over those bumps. Now look, this is the chill mode. Okay, full throttle. Like it's not slow, okay? But that is not like crazy from an acceleration perspective. And that's the thing that's cool about EVs is you can really change how it feels. So like, you know, again, if you just want to chill, if you just want to get up and move, but you don't want it to be crazy, then you put it in the chill mode. And then if you want to take things up a notch, then yeah, right. You put it into the sport mode and scramble your brains a little bit. It's kind of the thing with EVs. And we'll actually pop it over to the sport mode now. Our generation is really solid. That's something that I think is pretty cool. Let's see how it does over the train tracks here. Yeah, pretty good little click from the chassis but other than that it seems like tesla's finally figuring out how to build cars like the build quality on this is a lot better than some of the original teslas that i drove Let's see if i can do the windshield cleaner i'm probably doing it wrong oh there we go 
so you guys can get a better viewpoint. Those windshield wipers are huge, by the way, because the windshield's kind of big. It's the thing. It should not click anymore. Yeah, you can, just like other electric cars, you can do one pedal driving with this. I know this driving isn't particularly exciting, but I'm sure this is what a lot of people will be doing with this car, right? Is it's a commuter car, you'll be driving in a lot of traffic. Yeah, they really need to do a gauge cluster in all Teslas, not just the plaids. Because looking off to the screen is so annoying. Okay, that's just partial throttle in sport mode. It is quick. And the suspension is pretty good over these bumps. You do feel it. I wouldn't quite call this a uh, luxury car from a suspension standpoint, but it it's solid for what it is. Yeah, I, I've driven like the Model S Plaid, for example. I know, way, way more expensive. Um, but yeah, you can definitely feel a suspension difference between the cars. That definitely feels a lot more compliant, but it is also a longer car. So that's something else to take into account. Something else is cool about Tesla's is they have such a low center of gravity, right? Uh, it's an EV thing, and so you really don't have to slow down for corners. Like, it just stays planted, stays flat, which is cool. So you can actually uh, save a bit of range by doing that. Okay, let's see what she is made of. <laughs> it's quick, but here's the thing that's kind of scary is I've driven three, four, I think I've driven like four plaids at this point three Model S's and one Model X. And so like that's fast, but now it doesn't feel fast to me anymore as an electric car. Like it's quick, don't get me wrong. It's very quick, but it compared to the Plaid, it's like, okay, <laughs> right? So let's think about electric cars is it's, you know, they keep getting faster. So then this is not like an old car, right? This is pretty recently developed, but it kind of dates it a little bit, at least from an acceleration perspective, and also the fact that it doesn't have a center gauge cluster. So, let's sum things up with the Model 3 performance. Um, the exterior styling's grown on me, but somewhat of an issue with the Model 3 is they all look the same, which obviously helps out with manufacturing with Tesla, but yeah, they all look the same, and so it doesn't feel special anymore. Like, when this car first came out, it was like, ooh, another new Tesla, but now it's like there's a million of them everywhere, and especially up here in Salt Lake. Salt Lake actually has a huge, like, EV thing going on and there's they're everywhere so it doesn't feel special anymore um interiors I like this white interior but again I, I'm not sure about uh how stain resistant this is being bright white it's so fast wow um and then from a driving perspective it's great I mean when you compare this to like regular cars it does a really good job because the acceleration is great it's got good driving range as an electric car it's just a great all-around car um but I guess it's just not exciting anymore um, because the plaid's out now and the plaid's so crazy from an acceleration perspective, this doesn't feel quick anymore. And then on top of that, um, you know, there's a lot of competition now from other automakers, so there's just a lot. I like this car a lot. Like, I really wanna like Teslas. Um, it's, it's, always, it's like a, like a love-hate relationship with me. Um, I think they've improved things a massive amount, but I still think that there's, I think there's still a little bit more to be done. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this Model 3 performance. Again, a huge shout out thank you to the Tim Daly Nissan here in Murray for giving me some time with this Model 3. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I will see all of you in the next video.